What's up everybody, Faldron Rowan. We are now on Langrisser Mobile, Chapter 2, Lads and Ladies, Waifu, Husbando, Tier List, whatever I feel like calling it. And today, we've got quite the lineup. But first, we're going to take care of the obvious. We have to put Oliver in the nice try long game category. They're not going to fool me. I'm not going to fall for it. Some of you have questioned my decisions, but that is because of the artwork of the game. But this time, oh, this time I will not be fooled. So nice try, Zilong game. Not today. Uh, the other thing is I awkwardly couldn't find a picture that was really good for uh, Sage of the Trees, Tree Sage, Old Mandius, whatever you want to call him. Uh, but that's okay because he's kind of weird. Also, I'd like to point out that the Langrisser Gamepedia or whatever has not been updated in forever with any of the new characters, so I'm not sure who's responsible for that, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to get some good quality thumbnails here. If you could uh, go ahead and update that for just for me, that'd be great. Uh, you can definitely drop a comment below and say, hey, I did this just for you, and you'll be, you'll be my favorite forever. All right, so we're going to break down the categories. As always, Waifu for Laifu, that's the ultimate winner of this round. They go on to face the winners of the other rounds, who then go head-to-head -head in the ultimate death match to determine who is the best Waifu or Husbando from the Langrisser series. The previous winners. Let's see if I can remember it this time. Langrisser 1, Narm. Langrisser 2, Imelda. Langrisser 3, Emric. Langrisser 4... Oh, that was... I can picture her face. Lestelle, that's the one. Langrisser 5 was Lambda. Langrisser Reincarnation was... I'm blanking on her name. It starts with an R. Not Rosalia. Not Rose and Seal. Not Rebecca. Whichever Calvary... <laughs> female blonde Calvary unit that is. Yikes. That's bad. That's definitely, definitely not good that I can't remember that. And then we have, uh, but I'll learn her name soon anyways, because I'm playing Langrisser Reincarnation Tensei, so I can make a video all about how, how and why the game failed uh, to reinvigorate Langrisser. Uh, so that's going to be a pretty in-depth video, probably going to be like a longer documentary style one. So definitely check that out, uh, or I guess wait for it to come out and then check that out and then Langrisser Mobile 1's winner was Illustrial so now we are on Langrisser Mobile 2 all right so let's see if I even remember the names of these people I have like none of these characters because fortune hates me actually that's not true I have all but two of these I haven't gotten far enough to get Oliver uh but I need to unlock him so that I can make my Lucia better. And speaking of Lucia, let's talk about this. So, one thing, I pointed out this character to my wife and I asked her opinion on it. And one thing she thought was interesting is that typically the veil is a sign of modesty, right? But if she were really modest, would she have armor-plated nipples? The answer is, of course not. So that means that she's got a little bit of a wild side, and I, for one, am curious. Next, we have Old Mandius, the guy who loves you so much that he will sit and guard the tree that is somehow your life for the end of days, not even budging to save humanity around him, but begrudgingly being a hero regardless. Old Mandius, you in your little chibi pixel form, you are going strictly in the Pierre bin. That's right, he is trash. Absolute dumpster. Great PvP character. Really awesome story arc, but frankly, I do not care about him. He is a lost and broken soul, and the last thing I need to hear is how he has to get home to water his tree. Next, we have the Knight of Mystery, the Mystery Knight, MK, whatever you want to call her. There's only one question that really matters. Does the carpet match the drapes? Side chick category it is. All right, Helena. Helena's got some wild hair. I feel like that's an entity all of its own. 
Like that thing might attack me in the middle of the night. And there is one thing you can ask my wife this that drives me absolutely nuts is when I'm trying to sleep, if she has long hair, it inevitably finds its way to my face to tickle me awake. And it feels like I'm being strangled. So, Helena, you get knocked down because your hair is ridiculous. Mystery Knight's hair is long, and I'm sure Lucia's hair is even longer, but that's contained, and frankly, I like Mystery Knight better than I like Helena anyway. Last, we have Shalinka. Now, Shalinka is an interesting character. Shalinka is bad, let me tell you. She is bad. Got that goth, chic, hot vampire look. But the one thing I'm concerned about is she has been frozen for a long, long time. I don't know about you, but if I had been waiting that long, I'd be pretty disappointed to be stuck with me. So much as I enjoy her, I feel like she would hate me and constantly resent me for everything. Either way, still getting into that side chick category. All right, so here's the breakdown as we have it. We have Mystery Knight, Elusia, and Shalinka as the breakdown. <sighs> so we have to wonder, what is Mystery Knight's mystery? This is what I need to know. I'm fairly certain I know what the mystery is, but there's still that element of surprise. Then there's Elusia. I feel like that hat could be hiding any number of things. Like there could just be a bunch of hair tucked up into a bun, but it also could be like lord voldemort type situation where there's a face on the back of the face and i'm already taking a little bit of a leap of a faith here with mystery night i don't know how much mystery i can solve so we got we got two mysteries and then shalinka we have hot goth vampire chick but i will say out of the harem i have built so far we already kind of have that aesthetic with listelle so it'd be a redundant aesthetic and I already know that I'm a disappointment. I'm a disappointment to my parents, I'm a consummate disappointment to my children, and a disappointment to myself in regards to my career and the fact that I am now making YouTube videos about vampire titties. But I could not tolerate being a disappointment to Shalinka, so she's not going up. So now it's down between Mystery Knight and Elusia. Which are you going to gamble on the mystery? So the mystery that you don't know, or the mystery that could also be a face. This is a tough one. On the one hand, the armor's pretty cool. Plus, you could travel across the water on a Lapras-looking thing, which would be pretty dope. But on the other hand, unicorns and magic. And I still need to know, does the carpet match the drapes? All right, so Mystery Knight's the winner in this round here. She will join the rest of them, and to next video, not tomorrow, nice try. Next video, I will be breaking down the waifu, husbando, tier list for all of the crossover games that we have had so far. That is the last one before we have our grand competition. I'm still looking for anyone who wants to join in for that grand competition and join me on a discord call and we can argue the semantics otherwise it's going to be me and my wife arguing about who we would rather be with than each other so anyhow thanks for watching and i will see you next time